Space. My final frontier. These are the voyages of the starship Zinfandel. My continuing mission, to find new purpose for myself within this universe. To keep my newfound friends safe from the horrors of my past. To boldly do new things that I have never dared to do before. After an extremely big stroke of luck, our heroes have the chance to regroup and figure out their next move, with a rampant frigid on the loose. However, their downtime may not last long, because meanwhile, deep within the seedy underbelly of a shady planet, a fight is taking place, but not with who you might expect. This is it over? Don't think you can resort to your stupid gimmick? I thought you were going to provide me with a challenge. Well, that's a shame. Wolf, Fang, Fist. I'm awesome. As this bizarre case of duplicity runs riot, we follow the crew of the Zinvandel on their way to planet Yardrat. After parting ways with Otios and Jukai, the ship has returned to normality. Right now, the crew has stopped at a refueling station on the recently repopulated planet of Kanasa, which gives Yamcha the perfect opportunity to finally surf the subspace web for news and self-indulgence. All right, finally got a good signal. Oh boy, this is gonna be great. Forgive the intrusion, Yamcha, but what exactly are you looking for? Could I assist you? Nah, thanks, Shiraz. I think I got the hang of it. I'm getting some hollow movies for the movie night. This is going to be our new tradition. How are you paying for these movies? You're not using the captain's credits again, are you? For the last time, how was I supposed to know that he doesn't like our Cosian Prosecco? I'm not a mind reader. Anyway, everybody likes a good movie. I hope this works, because it didn't work with Ten Shinhan, Puar, and Chiaotsu. But... Are you alright? Yeah. I just haven't thought about my friends in a long time. Kinda... miss them, actually. Thought I was over this. I understand. I lost contact with a friend once. You did? They and I were conversing about Pora's secretary and redefining the light speed barrier. Just when we were getting to the thrilling bit, they just vanished, almost as if they were just unplugged or something. I hope they're all right. That's rough, buddy. They were good company. We were so in sync, like we were cut from the same block. Oh well, as to your predicament, think of all the stories you'll be able to tell them once you get back. <laughs> you got a point there. Although I'm not sure if Ten Shinhan will be interested in anything that doesn't involve martial arts. Speaking of which, can we have a little fun, Shiraz? Oh, aren't we having fun now? I'm finding this conversation quite enjoyable. No, I, I mean, yeah, but I'm curious. If any of our recent adventures have garnered news, we could be famous or something. Can you search my name? Search? Your name? Really? Yeah! When Earthlings are bored, they do that. I think. 
This whole internet thing is pretty new on Earth. I have 47,854 results. Whoa, really? Though most of them are not used specifically. There are other Yamchas. There is a Yamcha who is a space cattle farmer. He even has a catchy song. Do you want me to play it to you now? N no thanks. I have bad memories with songs about food. Oh, who am I kidding? <laughs> space people wouldn't know my name. Oh, wait. I think I might have something. This sounds like you. It's a news bulletin. Oh yeah? Play it then. Good evening. This is Wednesday the 23rd of Jagger and welcome to Groovy Channel 27 News. Sectors across the star system are once again enthralled with the 42nd straight victory of the smash sensation brawler, the Wolf Fang. See? Who else would use the term Wolf Fang? It's gotta be me. The Wolf Fang's latest matchup saw him go up against the veteran fighter Tapcar with the former winning in record time. That's odd. I don't remember fighting anybody called Tapcar. Wait, what does that picture of me have blue skin? Shras, pause it! What's going on? At last. Thought we would never get a yard right at this rate. It'd be good to see Master Pibara after all this time. I deserve a simple trip there without any complications. I can't believe it. I'm wearing blue. Say, do you hear that, droidy boy? Or the pipe squealing again? This had better not disrupt my eight o'clock soak. How dare he! How dare that blasted identity thief! He just found out that somebody has stolen his face and Monica and is making money off them. Uh, hold up, what? You could say he's howling about it. Captain, permission to speak freely. I get the feeling you're going to tell me anyway. What is it, crewman? Someone stole my face! Hmm. Your face is still there, my boy. What's your actual problem? Not literally, Captain. Somebody's using my likeness and my name to make money. Apparently, someone naming themselves the Wolf Fang is competing in underground pit tournaments, using my likeness too. I know where the next tournament is happening. We have to go and stop them. I want that money. And also, it's wrong. So, how does this affect me? Actually, the pup's got a point. This might attract unwanted attention towards you, Jordy Boy. Yeah, he's right. If we get associated with that imposter and he does something stupid, how is that going to make us look? Not worth the hassle, if you ask me. But I just want to go to your heart, rat! Shiraz, talk sense to these buffoons! I'm afraid it's got me concerned as well, Captain. Who knows? Yamcha may not be the only one being mimicked. You yourself might have an impersonator as well. Fine! But if you think I'm going to wag my finger and make the problem go away for you, forget it. You're on your own. Yamcha, since you kicked up the most stink, you can go and handle it. Believe me, the pleasure's all mine. So where to, pup? From what I can remember, the newscast said the next contest was taking place at a place called Bootlog. We're looking for the Purple Sand Cantina in Cholto City. You heard the man. Set course for... Bootlag. Oh no, that name sounds kind of fake. Could it be a decoy? I know what I heard. Let's go. And so, our crew has landed on Bootlag, a seedy nest of scum, villainy, and illegal activities. Dressed up for the occasion, they wander off through the streets of Cholto City to find the Purple Sand Cantina. Hey, I just realized something. If we're meant to be impersonating pirates, shouldn't we have eye patches and stuff? No way! What kind of a pirate wears an eye patch? It obscures the view. In this game, you need your wits about you. What if they actually lose an eye? What, are they supposed to just feel the breeze? Simple. They replace it with cybernetics. I'm walking proof. Ah, I think this is the place. The purple sand. Participating or watching? Uh, I am Wolf Fang, and I'm here to participate. Ah, uh, yes, w -W Wolf Fang. Right this way, sir. I, I didn't recognize you at first. The lights made your skin look all funny. No problem. It happens. 
Dang, this crowd is nuts. I haven't seen something this packed in years. Hey, everybody! Look who it is! It's the Wolf Fang! Yeah, that's right, it's me, the Wolf Fang! And I'm here to do Wolf Fangy things! Ooh, wolf Fang, can you sell my fist? <laughs> sure thing, buddy. Thanks for coming out! Oh, oh, good one, Wolf Fang! That's a good one! See ya! My, my! You got here earlier than we expected you, Wolf Fang! But since you're here, maybe we can start the inauguration duel between yourself and the Crushed Knuckle Raider right now! What do you say to that, gentle beings? Crush... No... Lovely name. Sure, sure, whatever. And so, Yamcha has to fight his first opponent. Although the giant looks pretty tough, our hero is able to stand his ground. You seem different today, Wolf. But he cannot quite figure out why. Oh, trust me, big guy. You're fighting the real deal. Say hello to my tiger jackhammer fist! Oh, I don't care what universe you're from. That's gotta hurt. Crush Knuckle Raider is down, gentle beings! Yeah! Who's next? Hmm, he's getting rather cocky for my liking. I fear that things are about to turn against us. What makes you say that, Captain? Me! I'm next! Oh, that would do it. Whoa, 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 Fang! But how? You're there and yet you're there too! Figures. It's only natural that someone is trying to hog my limelight. Pathetic. Your limelight? I think you'll find it's mine! You stole my face and my title, buddy, and you're gonna pay for it! I see. <laughs> so you're mad as well as Moran. Name's Payne. These fine gentlemen here are Oof and Ow. And the fierce wolf they are holding is called Rip. Wolf? <laughs> that's not a wolf. That's a dog. A rather small one, too. <laughs> you dare to insult my knowledge of ER canines? I'd rather insult your face, but that's my face. So, uh... <laughs> <laughs> Didn't think that comeback through enough. Okay, okay. You make me laugh. Tell you what. Let's settle this once and for all. Winner gets the name. Deal? I don't need to deal. I know I'm gonna win. You heard it here, gentle beings! This could not get more exciting! We're gonna have a duel between not one, but two of things! Can you imagine the profit? I mean, excitement! And it starts... now! I don't get it. This guy's not using any tech to look like Yamcha. As far as I can tell, he's legit. Only blue. Oh, that's easy. He's a Kalalian. A Kalalian? They are shapeshifters. They're rather limited in scope. They can change most facial features, but never the skin tone, as you can see. This one has nailed the hair, though. In fact, you could say that it's better than the original. Huh. Let me show you why they say the original is always best. Well, thank this! <laughs> you were saying? Uh, how? How do you know that move? I can counter your every move, wolf boy. Oh, that's not supposed to happen. He must be one of those maverick Kalalians. Not only can they talk the talk, but they can walk the walk as well as it were. But what is one of them doing here? Yamcha, watch out! He's a Kalalian! That doesn't help at all! What she mean by that, pain? If it'll make you fight seriously, fine. I was part of an order of Kalalians who mastered the art of total mimicry, but I proved to be too good at it, and so I was cast away from my world. They couldn't handle my talent, and so you find me here, winning. The Crane Wolf Strike? How do you know that? I've not used that technique in years. I don't just rely on my natural talents, my friend. No. I came across some black market Zunian transmissions, your planet's television broadcast. I am rather partial in researching interesting warriors, you see. So I fail to see why you would be butthurt about the great pain choosing your fighting style to profit from. It's the highest of honors. Well, like pain in my ass, I'll hand it to you. Pretty good at mimicry. Can you do this? 
Kane prepares to defend what he suspects will be a standard Wolfbang fist, but is caught off guard by Yamcha, changing the arc of the hit. What? That's not the Wolfbang fist! What gives? That's the beauty of martial arts. You always adapt, never stand still. A friend taught me that many years ago. Well, uh, watch me adapt too. They're pretty evil, folks. Who will be victorious? I do not know. I'm sure that we, the audience, are winning right now. I have to admit, you are good. I really have the opportunity to fight people that I copy. This is quite... entertaining. So what do we do now? Clearly we can counter one another every single time. True. I sense a stalemate. We gotta come up with something. We can always team up. Double Wolf Fang Fist? Don't push your luck, buddy. I can settle for a tie. Fine by me. Yamcha and Payne punch each other at the same time and pretend to knock each other down exactly at the same time. The announcer and the crowd roars with delight at having witnessed a stunning battle. And after the fight, the Wolf Fangs are getting medical attention. And once they are cleared from the unit, they have some time to chat. So you're telling me that this is a domesticated version of a dog? The merchant said that this is an honest to space god wolf! That lying scumbag deceived me! The great pain? Technically, he didn't. Dogs are related to wolves, but we domesticated some of them ages ago. But some of them can be kings, so it's not that bad. They can be great companions to people, though. I'm more of a cat person, but your rip looks like a good boy. Girl, actually. Say, sorry for stealing your shtick. I never thought you would ever show up and try to take it back. Space is pretty big, you know. Also, we Kalalians, we all look the same to other species. Taking the faces of others give us a sense of, at least, some recognition. Tell you what, you can keep the face. But you refer to yourself as the wolf fang too. Deal? Deal. <sighs> Someday, when I'm not on duty, let's have round two. Gladly. And when you're done hanging around these losers, you might consider joining me and the boys. Oof and Al always like making new friends. How do you know about that? You say what? That joke! You knowing Oof and Al. I came up with that on Zoom. I don't follow. I called my fist those, as part of a gag. What? No, those are their actual names, Yamcha. Oof is short for Ooferton, and Owl comes from Our Walls. Huh. Small world. And so, the crew are finally back on track to get to Yardrat. But during their journey, a new tradition was born. No, you fool! Don't go into that room! I, uh... Why did they split up? It's so obvious that the monster will get them easier. Am I the only one that thinks that this thing kind of looks like Droidy Boy in his third form? No? Just me? Yamcha? Yamcha, are you even watching? What? Me? Y yeah. Still homesick? Kinda. But you know what, Shrez? Space is not that bad after all. Not at all.